Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz Sheikh and today video it will be very interesting because we are going to sum all the numbers in a cell. Now this is a situation what had happened the user have entered all the numbers and he would just like to sum them. So over here he would just like to have the results as 6 and so on. So we are going to crack this solution step by step using classic array method and the dynamic arrays. So there will be two solutions for this problem. So let's go and see the things in action. So first thing we are going to use the mid function and we are going to reference this one and we need to extract one and we need to extract one character. So that will return us the value as one. Now let's say we want to extract the value from the fifth position. So that will extract the value as two. Now this number which is over here, we need to make it a dynamic number. Now in order to do that, what we have to do is we need to construct a formula by using a length. So that will return the length of that character. So let's go put length and see the length of that character. Now we need to generate that sequence of digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To do that, we'll be using e equals to rows function and that will be row and row from 5 enter so once you enter this you can see i'm using the new calculation engine that's why the value has spill across the cells but in case if you're using the old excel engine then you need to select five rows and then press Control shift enter somehow i need to make this cell value as dynamic now i'll be using an indirect function in the row function so that will create that dynamic number so we are going to call the row function equals to row and then we are going to pass another function inside that is an indirect one and that is referring to the text now we need to create the same sequence of that text so we will say a one colon and till a and quotes ampersand now this time i'll be using the length so I'll be using the len function and I'm going to reference it on this cell. Close parentheses and comma and the value will be A1 style. Close parentheses, again close parentheses, enter. So this is a dynamic one. So if I'll go and add some numbers to this, let's say, and it has automatically spread across. Wonderful. So let's turn back this number to 6. Now we are going to copy this piece of formula which is very important one and we are going to replace it with number 5. Enter. So we got all those values spread across our cells. So if you're using an old calculation engine then you need to select a specific range and then press Control shift enter to see the results. But that's the beauty of dynamic arrays. Now this is stored as a text value. Now if I try to go and do the sum and I'll press enter and control shift enter if you don't have this new calculation engine. In that case, I'm still getting results as zero. Absolutely right because those are as text, not as value. So we need to add the value function and then close parentheses and this has converted into a number and now when we sum this value close parentheses enter and we got the results let's fill this down and that is awesome so we got all the results with this single piece of formula remember classic array method is control shift enter now with dynamic array method my friends, the thing is very easy. You have some powerful functions and you can easily construct the formula. So let's construct it in the same fashion what we have done step by step. Let's say we have that mid function, selecting that text, comma, and the start number is uh, the, the number which we want to start from is the fifth one. And we want to extract only one character. So that has extracted one and we'll be using that len function and we'll go back over here now this time to generate that sequence we have a function called sequence and that sequence will wrap it up into the len function and that len function we are going to reference it to that cell value 
So it is asking me how many rows you want to generate that sequence. So I will say that five rows, comma, columns, no, nothing. We don't need anything in the columns, comma. The start number is my one. And how many steps I need to move ahead? So I need to move every time one step. Close parentheses, enter, and that is a beauty. Now we got that sequence numbers over here. Now this is a very important piece of formula. What we are going to use it. So we are just simply going to copy this and we are going to just replace this with this formula. So this has become dynamic and that value has spilled across as you can see over here. And we can then wrap this into values because it has been left aligned and those are stored as text. So we need to convert them into value. So let's hit enter. And then again, we can just simply wrap it into some function. Enter. So we got all of our results correctly over here. So that is an easiest way of doing it. You can even construct this formula with the let function. So by passing the variable, you can declare it really nicely, neatly. So if somebody sees your formula, he knows what is happening with your formula. And if he needs to change it or alter it something, he can do it really nicely. But this is also one of the way you can do it. And absolutely, there will be different ways of doing it. So let me know, my friends, in the comment section, what would be your technique, what would be your method, and I'll be happy to see that. If you're still with me and watching this video, and I hope that you have liked this video, so make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and do press that notification button for the latest updates. And I'll be seeing you soon in the next video with some amazing tricks. Till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye.